Imagine a place where research, passion, and education unite. It's a place where scientists work together, teach together, and move the field forward. A school that is the leader in its field. It was the first school of gerontology. It's certainly the largest school of gerontology, and I would say it's the preeminent school of gerontology in the country, if not the world. A field that affects us all. It is a source of pride to be the leader in the field of gerontology, but as gerontologist, life is our work. Welcome to the USC Davis School of Gerontology. Leader in the science of aging. Housed in the Ethel Percy Andrus Gerontology Center at USC, the Davis School was founded in 1975 with a vision. My father felt there needed to be a place where people applied science to the issues. What, what are the real answers? What are the possible solutions we can come up with? And also a place to train the future leaders. The Davis faculty represents true legends in the field. Cancer, diabetes, Heart disease have a shared core of mechanisms which involve inflammation and oxidative stress. You have to consider the aging process as part of the disease. For over three decades, the school has attracted the top minds in aging research to work alongside one another in a vibrant and unique multidisciplinary environment. What we have today is probably the collection of some of the best thought leadership. It's really unusual to be in a place that has everything from bench science uh, through psychology, uh, sociology, and up to people doing population demography and social policy studies. Combining life sciences. We're uh, focusing on turning the understanding of cellular protection and organismal protection into treatment, not uh, going after each individual disease, but going after uh, aging itself. Demography. We do a lot of research to enable social science surveys around the world to incorporate biological measurement. Sociology. Many of the diseases that we'll face are influenced by social class or ethnicity or some other kind of minority identity. Psychology. I'm particularly interested in the brain mechanisms of cognition and emotion and how they change with age. And public policy. What's the future of social security? Uh, Medicare, Medicaid, I mean, these are critical public policy issues that affect older people and their families. Undergraduate, masters, and PhD students comprise the gifted and compassionate student body. We definitely want to get people to be engaged in the community, volunteer more, do more research. The field of aging is growing, and dealing with the baby boomers is really going to be a great thing. Services don't exist for them yet, but the Davis School of Gerontology graduates are going to be the ones that create those services. Pioneering with new technologies, the Davis School is a leader in distance learning. The first online, internet-based distance learning program. We had the first master's degree, totally online. Taking the classroom beyond the campus. One of my students was the CEO of a retirement corporation in Florida, and he was very near another school that he easily could have gone to, but he really liked the values and what he could learn from the Davis School. The USC Davis School of Gerontology generates knowledge to improve the lives of fellow Trojans, the surrounding community, and society at large. We go about taking that basic information and translating it uh, up into something clinically relevant. It makes way more sense to spend dollars on developing strategies that keep people out of chronic conditions or acute care conditions. Part of the motivation for a donor wanting to be involved in this type of research is how universal it is. It gives you an opportunity to be a part of a research program that's really going to affect all humans. When you educate a single student and you've given that student scholarship aid, the effects spread like uh, when you throw a rock into a, into a body of water, the ripples spread out from that and have a positive impact way beyond the impact of that single individual. I know that many of the students in gerontology probably wouldn't be here if not for the scholarships that we're able to get. Donors generally are wise investors, and I can't think of a better investment than the USC Leonard Davis School of Gerontology. Now, more than ever before, the science, research, and practice of gerontology are at the core of the human experience. This is empirical information that we just can't go to a book and find out. 
we're actually creating new knowledge in these areas. As scientists, we're working with great enthusiasm to bring to fruition new realities that are only in our imagination at this time. Gerontology does cross all the disciplines, and if the school has the resources, I think the, it, the potential is limitless. The leader in the science of aging. The USC Davis School of Gerontology.